Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. And today we are going to talk about the Blu-ray. Uh, you know, the version of Venom that's coming out soon. I know there's going to be digital copies. Uh, if you pre-order it now, I think the digital copy comes out December 11th, uh, which is very soon. It's like two weeks away, uh, a little less than two weeks away. So if you uh, if you you know can pre-order it now, you can go on PlayStation. I think if you pre-order on PlayStation, you get a free theme, like a Venom theme. And I think Reese, or you know, one of our viewers already has it. So I'd love to hear, Reese, if you're watching this video, I'd love to hear what you think of the theme. Is it worth it? Because I wouldn't be opposed to owning it digitally and having the theme and then just, just buying the Blu-rays as a collector item to put on my shelf and not even open them. I mean, I might open them to give out the digital codes if they come with digital copies of the movie. But uh, but otherwise, yeah, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Or if anyone else out there owns uh, the, you know, the digital version or pre-ordered it and has the theme, I'd love to hear what the theme is. Is, it, there, is there music? Because I have the Spider-Man PS4 theme right now, and there's like music and sound effects, like the thwipping noise and stuff. So if, I want to know if it's that detailed before I buy it. So let me know if you guys uh, already own it and you have the theme. Uh, but right now, I'm going to go over to comicbook.com. And they posted a list here, and I'll put a link down below if you want to check it out, a list here of all the special features that are going to be on the Blu-ray. Now, there are going to be different versions of the Blu-ray. Obviously, that's always the case with movies. Um, and so uh, so what we have is on Walmart, I think Walmart is going to sell a version of the movie that comes with an action figure, like or kind of an in-action figure in a way. It's like a small like four-inch or five-inch, I mean, I think maybe it's like three and three-quarters uh, figure. And, uh, and it just has posability, like the arms move up and down, and I think the leg, legs move forward and back, uh, and that's kind of it. Uh, but it's cool because it's a movie version of Venom. It's our, probably our only figure uh, that's licensed, you know, that is from the movie. And so I will probably buy this version just for that figure, <laughs> like I said. And I think you can take the figure out and it's in its own packaging, and you can like hang it on your wall, display, you know, display it any way you want. Uh, so that looks cool. I mean, I'm, I'm really glad I have the picture here. And I saw these on Twitter, so, uh, you know, the Venom movie is sharing all this stuff out, and I know, like, Venom Media on Instagram was posting this, and Venom is here, and all these other, like, Venom pages that started following me recently. Um, thank you guys for, you know, spreading the Venom love. You guys get way more likes and stuff than I do, uh, and you're way more active on, on Instagram and social media than I than I can be with my job and stuff, so I appreciate you guys, because you're helping the cause of spreading the word of Venom, so thank you guys uh, for doing that. And uh, so seeing, like, you know, that image was cool, I was like, oh, cool, it comes with a toy, and then I think there's like a Best Buy version that comes with uh, a steel book. I think we talked about that before, like a pop art steel book version. Uh, then we have like the different, uh, you know, artwork that came from the like those contests that the fans did and they turned in their artwork. Some of those artwork are being used on like the 4K versions of the movie and things like that, which is really awesome. I'm glad that's getting used in that way, especially some of those really cool images. Uh, and then we also have the Target edition, which comes with a photo book, which I'm really excited to get this version as well, because like I said, I kind of want like an art book or something from this movie, and I don't know if we're going to get one. Maybe they'll make one before the sequel comes out, and they'll do like a, you know, the art of Venom 1 and 2 or something and put them both, you know, together. And uh, Sony, if you, if you do that, you know, try to reach out to like Titan Books or someone like that, or, you know, uh, you know someone who does a lot of those art books who, uh, who do really good jobs, because uh, I would love to see something like that. I'd love to own something like that that uh, because we saw on the Venom site recently the concept art and uh, and I highly recommend you go in and checking out Venom site they got exclusive look at some of the con you know concept art of Venom and the designs that were never used and some of them look really unique so definitely check that out uh, so you know with with this blu-ray and stuff you know the target version the photo album like I love that I have that version of Logan Logan came with a black and white photo book because uh, James Mangold took a lot of black and white photos on the set and I, it looked beautiful when you get it all in this like nice photo album. Um, so I am probably going to get the Walmart edition and the Target edition. And I know we talked about the Amazon edition. Unfortunately, it was like on sale for like 12 bucks, which I would have loved to get at that price, especially considering I'm, I'm buying multiple versions of the movie uh, and I just don't really have the money to. So it, it would have been nice to get at $12, but that was on Black Friday, and as you guys know, I was uh, on bed rest. I was unconscious after my surgery, so I missed out on all those cool deals, unfortunately. Uh, but, you know, such is my luck, and I don't mind ultimately paying full price for Venom, um, but uh, I might have to buy, like, one Blu-ray, you know, now, like, when it first comes out on December 18th, and then buy the next one later, you know, and I have to spread it out a little bit, most likely. Um, I can't do it all on one check, I don't think. So, uh, so yeah, so there are a lot of cool additions. A lot of you guys, I'd love to know which version you would like to get down below. I put some pictures up here, so hopefully you guys got a decent look at them. And uh, definitely follow at Venom Movie on Instagram and on Twitter because they're sharing these images all the time in high res, and, you know, they look really good. So definitely follow those guys um, so you can be up to date on all the editions of this movie that are coming out. Uh, so then also I want to talk about, like I said, the special features. So we have here on comicbook.com the Blu-ray special features, 
are as follows. And I'll put a link again down below so you can read these for yourself. Uh, we have Venom mode. And when selecting this mode, the film will engage in informative pop-ups throughout the film to provide insight on the movie's relationship to the comics and to reveal hidden references that even a seasoned Venom fan may have missed, which is really exciting to me because I'm not going to sit here and, and pretend that I got every single reference in this uh, in this movie. I got a couple of them, like a good handful, but I don't think I got all of them. So that'll be really cool to watch. It'll be like, you know, pop-up videos uh, from back in the day. Uh, so it's almost like a commentary, but just you still hear the movie audio and you just get these cool pop-ups. So I can't wait for that. I, I really am digging uh, that idea. There's also the deleted and extended scenes, which if you watch our last episode, you saw one of those deleted scenes, or at least a portion of one. Uh, so uh, so yeah, that's cool that, you know, that we're going to get that. There's a ride to the hospital scene, a car alarm. Um, and so the car alarm one is the one we watched in the previous video. Uh, let's just say that Venom is not fond of car alarms. So I guess that's what happened is because uh, I couldn't figure out what was going on in that scene too much. But I guess it was, uh, you know, car alarm irritated the Venom suit and Venom tore it apart. So that's good to know. Uh, a ride to the hospital is uh, Eddie and Venom taking a ride to the hospital, which again, I think if that's the scene where he's opening and closing the door way back when, when he's like twitching and dancing in the street, I think it's that scene. I'm, I'm almost sure it's that scene. So it looks like we're going to get that in, with its tone and everything, uh, you know, put in. And then also San Quentin, which is an extended post credit scene. So I guess the scene at the end uh, with uh, the cameo for the next movie, uh, I guess is extended. It's longer than what we saw, which is good because I thought when I was watching that, it felt very abrupt, some of the cuts. And I'm wondering, like, I was like, I feel like there's more footage there. I'm glad there is. I can't wait to see what that extended footage is. Uh, that's going to be awesome. Uh, then we have From Symbiote to Screen, a mini documentary about the history of Venom in comics and his journey to the big screen. Interviews with Avi Arad, Matt Tolmack, Ruben Fleischer, Oliver Scholl, and director and comic fanboy Kevin Smith. I did see a little bit of this. There is a trailer, another trailer in my last video. I think I put a link to it in the description box, uh, but there's like a little special features trailer. I'll put it in this description box uh, since I, I might've missed out on mentioning it in the last video. So I'll put it down below if you wanna check it out. It'll tell you a little bit about the special features um, in like a 30 second trailer version. Uh, then there's also the Lethal Protector in action. Go behind the scenes with the production crew and learn the secrets behind the awesome motorcycle stunts, wire stunts, and drones. So a lot of you guys out there who really like that scene, this will be great. And I like stunt scenes in general, so it'll be cool to see the behind the scenes of this. Um, but at the same time, you know, that's one of my least favorite scenes in the movie. Uh, although as itself, as it stands itself, the stunts were really cool and it looked really well. But when I think about other things they could have told story-wise with those minutes of screen time, um, it, you know, that scene kind of, I rail against it a little bit. But I know a lot of you guys are fans of it, so you'll get a cool behind-the-scenes look at that. You'll also get Venom Vision, a look at how Ruben Fleischer came to the project, gathered his team, and made Venom a reality, utilizes interviews with cast, crew, and producers, as well as Fleischer himself. I can't wait for that. That's going to be cool. Uh, designer uh, Designing Venom. Designing and creating Venom meant a huge challenge for VFX artists following The Amazing Journey. So you're going to follow basically all of the different versions of Venom that they try to come up with. Knowing they couldn't use the spider, you're going to see all the different versions, the, some of the concept art you saw on Venom site, and then probably more uh, of them trying to figure out the look of this character that they basically have to keep identifiable enough so people know it's Venom, but also have to lose the most iconic part of them. So I can't, that's going to be a really cool little thing. I hope they did a good job cutting that together. Um, Symbiote Secrets, blink and you may have missed it. Enjoy the hidden references throughout the film. So this is another add-on to, you know, looking at the Easter eggs in the film. Uh, there's eight select scene pre -viz sequences. So you can see the progression of the visual effects, storyboard, and fight choreography compared to the finished film. So they're going to actually show you from like storyboard, from script to storyboard, uh, to choreo uh, choreographing the battles, and then into the final version with the visual effects. They're going to show like a couple scenes that do that. Probably the scene where he's tearing up all the cops, um, that or the SWAT team, that'll be a cool one to do. Uh, and then also probably the end battle with Riot, I, I imagine. So uh, that's cool. I can't wait to see that. Uh, then there's some music videos. You got Sunflower by Post Malone and Sway Lee from the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse movie. And then also the Eminem Venom, uh, I guess, music video as well. And then there's the, the five-minute sneak peek into the Into the Spider-Verse that was at the end of Venom when you saw it in the theaters. So a lot of stuff here. I mean, this is pretty cool. Uh, this depends, of course, on which version of the Blu-rays you're buying. But most of the Blu-rays will come with these special features. And I'm sure if you get it on like Amazon Digital, if you get it somewhere else on PlayStation, they might throw in like a special extra two or three minute bonus feature that's not included anywhere else. I imagine I, I see that done a lot with movies. I don't know for sure if that's if they're going to do that with this, but if you guys know and you heard that that's the case, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, but I want to hear what you guys think. 
Check all this stuff out. Check out the links in the description box. Let me know what your thoughts are on this and which version of the Blu-ray that you're going to get. Like I said, I'll probably get the Walmart one with the figure and the, the photo album one uh, as soon as I can because I know those sell out pretty quickly. So uh, I'm going to go for the figure first. And then I'll wait. I'll try to wait for my next check to get the, uh, the the photo album one. And then from there, maybe I'll go and look for the Amazon one or a different edition to uh, you know to get it. And if I get any digital codes from those, I promise I will do a giveaway here on the channel and give them out to you guys. Uh, so because I know some of you guys probably won't be able to watch the movie or get the movie right when it comes out. Um, so I understand that. I understand budgets. So if I can share and give you guys something, I definitely will. Thanks so much for watching my show. Let me know again all your thoughts down below, and we'll continue the conversation down there. See you in the future. Peace.